Would you rather have Tannehill or Tom Brady? Tannehill. At this point of their careers, Tannehill is a better quarterback. Um, people cannot evaluate Tom Brady without going back. I'm evaluating 2019. Mm -hmm. I'm evaluating 2019, and I'm projecting moving forward. Uh, if you look at Ryan Tannehill, he was number one in yards per attempt, eighth in QBR, third in completion percentage. He has the fourth highest yards per attempt since the merger. The merger goes back to 1970. So he played extremely well when he came in for Marcus Mariota. And Skip, at the end of the day, you got to look at what the guy, you rejecting what the guy's going to be moving forward, not what he's done in the past. Mm. Because there's no question, if you base it on the past, Tom Brady is, is, has been exemplary. Mm. But last year, take Brady off the back of the jersey and understand that he was 27th in completion percentage, 27th in yards per attempt, 19th in QBR, and nobody's saying, oh, yeah, that, that's the guy I want to build. I want to take me to where I need to be. Mm. We make all these excuses. Somebody, every year since they've thrown the forward pass, Jenny, has led the league, their receiver, has led the league in drops. Mm -hmm. Never have I heard so much about drops until it happened to, to on Tom Brady's watch. Mm. Guys, every year lead, lead the league in drops. Mm. But now, you see, that's why Tom's completion percentage was so bad. Mm. What about the other guys that uh, uh, receivers led the league in drops? We didn't mention his completion percentage being bad. Mm. We just said he didn't get it done. So, for me, I'm taking Ryan Tannehill. Uh, I understand that look, what Tom Brady has been able to accomplish, but I'm basing it on 2019 and moving forward. Mm -hmm. With that being said, I'm taking Ryan Tannehill, and the Tennessee Titans are very smart. Because, Skip, I cannot hope and wish, well, maybe Tom, maybe Tom likes us, and then I let Ryan Tannehill hit the free agent market. He goes somewhere else. Brady goes to wherever he goes, and now what do I do? Marcus Mariota's gone. We already found out that we can't win with him, at least go far in the playoff. You win a few games, but nothing serious where we people take us serious as a contender. Mm. So for me, it's Ryan Tannehill. This is the single most absurd question we've <laughs> asked in the history of this show. I disagree. If we had asked this question three or four months ago, or at least right before the past NFL season started, <laughs> the, the, our, our audience would laugh us yeah. off this set. We, the laughter would show. be so loud, it would come <laughs> through the cameras here <laughs> and blow us off our chairs. I'm with you. Ryan Tannehill, we're, we're asking, would you take Ryan Tannehill over Tom Brady? And the Brady hater across from me is saying, absolutely I would. I would. Okay, just for the record, you can go back and look at what I said about Ryan Tannehill before he got drafted. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Miami said yes, and Miami will forever regret it because they kept saying, yes, yes, mm -hmm. no, we're out. That's how he wound up in Tennessee. And I will give you this. He was ranked at the end of the regular season number one among quarterbacks by Pro Football Focus. That was mostly because he led the league in yards per attempt. Mm. But if you look harder, if you look harder, his air distance was 29th. And his catchable passes were 28. Those are both no good, no good. Okay. Furthermore, if you look a little deeper, he was surrounded by, you could argue, the best collection of weapons in the National Football League, which lifted his game <laughs> along with <laughs> as they lifted theirs. Who led this league in rushing, sir? It was Derrick Henry who happened to be the guy that Ryan Tannehill got to hand off to again and again and again and again. And if you look over the last 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, last 11 games, he literally ran over the whole league. Mm -hmm. He was getting close to being untackleable until <laughs> he hit the brick wall that was the new Kansas City Chiefs defense yep. in the AFC Championship game. That had a lot to do with Mahomes just going crazy on the Tennessee defense. And by the second half, they just couldn't hand it to him anymore. And he got held to 69 yards on 19 carries. But if you go back starting in week 10 to Derrick Henry, 188, 159, 149, 103, 211. And then it goes 182 in the playoffs, 195 before Kansas City. It was extraordinary what he was doing. And you certainly agreed with that. Yes. Meanwhile, his receivers during the regular season ranked second in the NFL. Pro Football Focus was actually being pretty positive with the Patriot receivers. They ranked 23rd, so second versus 23rd. But the Patriots receivers were dead last in what's called separation, getting loose from okay. the DBs. Mm -hmm. Dead last, 
and especially their tight ends were ranked dead last in productivity after in the wake of, obviously, a Gronk, who was one of the all-time greatest right. threats at the tight end position that you know very well. But if we look at the receivers Ryan Tannehill got to throw to, A.J. Brown came out of nowhere as a kid out of Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And, boy, D.K. Metcalf and him at Ole Miss, that was pretty, pretty special, good, right? Yeah, pretty okay. good combo. So he led them in receiving, and Corey Davis is still a stud. And that little Adam Humphreys, uh, he, he was better last year than Julian Edelman was, the beat-up, broken-down no, shell of himself Don't that Julian that. was, who did lead the league in drops. And then we got Jonu Smith, and we got Tajay Sharp. I love that last name, Sharp. <laughs> Chipped <laughs> off never, the old never, block. Never, never <laughs> and then that little Khalif Raymond from Holy Cross, he was the one who broke the Baltimore game open yep. with a deep ball. Mm -hmm. And then there was still Deion Lewis, and there was still Delaney Walker. And we're just talking weapons, weapons, more weapons all around Ryan. Ryan Tannehill, who, by the way, once he hit the postseason, he started to look more and more like the old Ryan no, Tannehill. He did, yes, they, he did. Because they took the ball out of his hand. Okay, well, why would they do that? Well, they had Derrick Henry. Right. So, first playoff game at New England, he goes 8 of 15 for 72. That's Jimmy G-esque, right? right? That's how Jimmy G was operating the playoffs. Second game... Uh, at Baltimore is 7 of 14 for 88 yards. You love that? You taking that over Tom Brady? Stop it. You're, you're talking about a Tom Brady who even last year had his team impossibly in position to win the two seed in the AFC. Impossibly. With yet another fourth quarter, what should have been game-winning drive against the Dolphins in the final regular so, season. So that, that's, is that how we measure Tom Brady now? Well, I'll, I'll by say, being in position? Yeah. I thought it was by championship. Yeah. So you want to talk about he had the highest degree of difficulty in the league because he had the worst weapons, the worst protection collectively of any quarterback, and he did almost that? Well, Skip, I would give you he had the highest degree of difficulty. Had Coach Belichick no longer be there, been mm -hmm. there, had he not had the number one scoring defense by a wide margin, mm -hmm. had he not had Dante Skarnecchia. Mm -hmm. If he, all three of those are removed, yep. I say, you know what, Skip Bayless, you're absolutely right. Mm. But see, the problem that I have is that when he had Gronk and he had guys like Randy Moss and Wes Welker, mm -hmm. they never got the credit, the full credit that they deserve because it was always Tom and Tom's greatness. Mm. Tom can do this with anybody. When Corey Dillon was rushing for 15, 1,600 yards and they won Super Bowl, y'all didn't talk about the running game. It was Tom, Tom, Tom. Mm. Now, mm. it's time to pay. Oh, boy. You get, well, hell. If you give everybody Julio Jones on one side, Mike Thomas on the other, give him Travis Kelsey, nobody give him Dave. Yeah, you, you want nobody, all that. Nobody has that. Because you make an excuse for why Rand Tiny Hill was better than he was. He had Derrick Henry. He got A.J. Brown. He got Corey Davis. He got John New Smith. Second best group of receivers, see, says see. Pro Football Focus in the whole NFL. Okay, what wow. did Pro Football Focus say about that quarterback? Mm. Number one quarterback in the whole football league. Mm. Jenny, Until you remember? Until the real game the, 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 Oh, oh yeah. he won two playoff games. Mm. Do you remember, Jenny? I think Fire. it was the, the first three weeks of the season. Yeah. Who did pro football focus have as the number one ranked quarterback in the NFL that Skip hung his hat on? Mm. Huh. It was Tom Brady. And who okay. did he have for a brief moment? This guy named Antonio Brown. Remember Hillary? that? Hold on. That was for the first what three weeks. He had Tom, he had Antonio Brown for one week. Mm -hmm. So the week before and the week after, yep. he was still number one. Huh. So Shannon Sharp says he just hit the wall and went straight <laughs> over the cliff, and he is used uh, up I, and done. I said mm. he's not the same guy. And you know it, Skip. Mm. It's okay. Did you see any loss of velocity from Tom Brady last year? I saw none. What Rob Ryan said, he's flinching in the pocket. Mm. That's what Rob said. But he also said he's still moving and grooving in the pocket, he just like always. Skip. What we Rob Ryan said he would jump at the chance to take him on the open he market, He said he's right? a winner. Yeah. He makes everyone yes. around him you know, yeah, yeah. He had a lot of good to say. Winner. That, that's, that's short for saying he's not at he, he, he ain't uh, the same guy. Uh, when they just say, oh, he's a winner. Mm, I don't think in that sense he meant it that way. He's a winner. So next year in Tennessee, if you had a choice, Brady or Tannehill, Tannehill. you think Tannehill would win more games and go deeper in the playoffs with this same roster and Tom Brady. Because what do we see, Skip? What about all the quarter, quarterbacks that went deep in the playoffs? Mm. Most of them that's in the, that made the playoffs, they can move. Mm. Only a handful of them couldn't move. Mm. That's the evolution of it, Skip. Really? It evolved in one year? Because no, I didn't. The, the previous year, that guy who couldn't move won the whole thing. No, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Thanks, Where all? thanks for an outstanding defense. Because, mm. hold up, you can still win a game in the NFL if you don't throw a touchdown and a throw mm. a pick? And have a 36 QBR. What did you do that? Wait that a Jimmy? second. Against two years ago, against the Chargers, you loved and picked a win at Foxborough. He threw See? for 343. Yeah. That works. Whoa. And then in overtime at Kansas City, he goes 
completion on third and ten, completion, completion. He converted three straight third and tens and scored a touchdown. Denny. Huh. Way to go. You heard what he said? He did this against San he did this against the Chargers. Yeah. He did this against Kansas City. Mm -hmm. He ain't mentioned who he did it with. Mm. That was Edelman. Mm. That was that, that was James White. He had Gronk. That was Burkhead. He had Gronk. Oh, yeah. what? Hogan. Mm. Hey, hey, what come on? Mm. That's he when he does it, when things go well, Tom is unbelievable. Let him lose a game. Man, Shannon, Julian Edelman is Shannon terrible. Sharp has had little to no respect over time for Julian Edelman. Chris Hogan or Danny Amendola? No, 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 I'm not going to let you do that, Skip Bayless. Come on. No. Really? Seriously? No, no, I said he's not a Hall of Famer. Mm. I said, but because just because they're not Julio Jones mm. doesn't mean they're not good. Mm. In that system, mm. for what they ask them to do, mm. they're phenomenal. Mm. That's what I've tried to tell people. Was Chris Hogan drafted? No. no. Was, yeah. Wait a second. Was Danny Amendola drafted? No. Was Julian Edelman drafted? Yes, in the seventh round. Because he was a quarterback at Kent State. Skip, there was a lot of people that John Randall was undrafted. Okay. He was on the all-centennial team. He's in the Hall of Fame. Shannon Sharp went the seventh round. Mm -hmm. He's a Hall of Famer. Yep. So you well, what, I just gave you three. I gave you two. And he made all three of them household names. You Tom see? Brady did. Okay, well, continue. So why didn't he make uh, 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 Nikhil Harry? Why didn't he make... Because Nikhil uh, Harry missed the first eight games and never looked okay. right What about Philip Dorsett? Mm. He did the best he could over time. <laughs> the best he could. Well, he could. Skip. Did Indy give up on Philip Dorsett, who was a first-round pick? Did they gladly give him to Bill Belichick? Skip, 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 let me tell you how these things work. <laughs> I don't care how bad a player is. He has a level of talent because you don't get to this level without having that. Mm. Now, everybody's talent is not equal. Mm. But you don't have to be Julio or Mike Thomas or one of these elite mm -hmm. receivers to carve out a niche and play really well. And that's what Tom has done. Tom has taken, nobody does more with less. My only problem is, is that when people evaluate Tom, they never evaluate the players that he's playing with fairly. Mm. They don't give him the credit mm. until it goes bad. Mm. And it's never Tom's fault. Mm. He's the only quarterback to get that. Mm. What is Shannon Sharp's favorite word on this show? <laughs> Expect. <laughs> Expectations. Yes. Yes. Were there any expectations on Ryan Tannehill as the season opened last year? No. Zero. No. He had failed in Miami, and everybody's like, really? You're going right. to give him a shot? And then that started happening, and then that started. And then all of a sudden, very quietly, out of nowhere, came Tennessee. No expectations. If you give him his money and you say, you're our face of the yeah. franchise going forward, Good luck yeah. to the Tennessee Titans because he will revert to being Ryan Tannehill. Good luck playing a 43-year-old playing in a new system at another location. Good luck. Okay, but is it a whole new system? Because that coach used to play in the Belichick right. system, right? You remember the movie Ransom? Mm -hmm. When the guy went, uh, uh, the guy's cat, what? Liam Neeson's his character, mm -hmm. and he said he's gonna hunt him down. Yeah. At the end of the, at the end of that you conversation, mean, are you talking about taken? You mean right? taken, 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 taken. taken. Okay. taken. Yep. You remember what he said when he says, "I'm gonna hunt you down," uh -huh. yeah, and the guy it. says, "Good luck." Luck. And hang the phone up on him. It gives me yeah. chills. Good luck. And he recorded that conversation, <laughs> and he used it he to used identify it. that guy. Yes. And that guy bit the dust. And, and guess what? Ryan Tannehill yep. is using your conversation, <laughs> yep. to, and you going to bite the dust. He's okay. recording. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.